Good morning. Uh, this testimony is for Bill 160. My name is Robert M. Yamada, and I am a Hawaiian subject. I am a retired contractor and currently reside in Paneva. I am a Hawaiian homes lessee, so I have more than 50% Hawaiian. I am a protected person as defined under Article 4 of the 1949 Fourth Geneva Convention. The Hawaiian Kingdom continues to exist as an independent and sovereign state that has been under an illegal and prolonged occupation by the United States since January 17, 1893. I am also aware that the United Nations independent expert, Dr. Alfred Desaias, sent a memorandum to members of the State of Hawaii Judiciary which stated international laws, the Hague and Geneva Conventions, require that governance and legal matters within the occupied territory of the Hawaiian Islands must be administered by the application of the laws of the occupied state, in this case, the Hawaiian Kingdom, not the domestic laws of the occupier, the United States. And according to Amnesty International, war crimes are crimes that violate the laws or customs of war defined by the Hague and Geneva Conventions. Article 43 of the Hague Regulations and Article 64 of the Fourth Geneva Convention obligates the United States to administer Hawaiian Kingdom law, not United States law. This deliberate failure by the United States to administer Hawaiian Kingdom law has led to grave breaches under Article 147 of the Fourth Geneva Convention and international humanitarian law which constitutes war crimes committed against me as a protected person. This body, this body illegally enacts United States laws in violation of the Hague and Geneva Convention and as a victim of war crimes that stem from this unlawful legislation, I demand that this body immediately cease and desist. Thank you. My name is Kale Gumapak, and I too am uh, on the waiting list for Hawaiian Homes, and uh, I am a businessman here in Hilo. As a Hawaiian Kingdom subject, I am a protected person, and you find under Article 4 of the 1949 Fourth Geneva Convention. And as Bobby just read, everything that he said. I concur and agree with that. And I'm testifying on Bill 160. It's really interesting that 160 provides accurate and factual information to the public to the best of each officer's or employee's abilities and knowledge. It's important that the county council members take this into consideration as I support what Jen Ruggles has done. She has taken that information that she has had and has brought it forward for all of you to take into consideration because it is very serious what she is doing. Request over two years ago to meet with council members Drew Kanuha and Valerie Poindexter went unanswered. We met with Mayor Harry Kim and Council, Councilwoman O'Hara who attended an educational conference with experts from the University of Hawaii Manoa in the political science departments and as well as in international law at the Hilo Boys and Girls Club over two years ago. And on June 2015, the county council voted unanimously to recognize July 31st as Lahoi Hoi Ea as a Hawaiian Kingdom holiday, unanimously. Why was a question not asked of Corporation Council for a valid legal opinion back then? This body illegally enacts U.S. laws in violation of the Hague and Geneva Conventions and as a victim, and I am a victim, of war crimes that stem from this unlawful legislation. I ask and call upon the County Council to have a special session of which you would be able to call in Dr. Keanu Sai and experts to explain this to you so that you can fully understand the ramifications that these laws and international laws have as, 
as provided in Dr. Desaias's letter from the United Nations. Mahalo. Okay, Mr. Clerk, going to um, order of the day, second and final reading, Bill 160. Bill 160, draft to amend section 2-83. Fair treatment by adding a requirement that officers and employees of the county provide accurate and factual information to the public to the best of each officer employee's abilities and knowledge. Introduced by Ms. O'Hara, first reading September 5, 2018. And I would like to move to postpone this bill to the call of the chair. Okay, is there a second? Um, we first need to have a main motion on the floor oh. before we can make a motion for a postponement. Okay, can you first make a motion to approve? <laughs> okay. Um, I move to approve, uh, approve Bill 160, Draft 2. Okay, it was moved by Ms. O'Hara, second by Ms. Poindexter. Uh, Ms. O'Hara, now you can make the other motion. Yes, I would like to make the second motion, which is to postpone to the call of the chair. Okay, it's uh, moved by Ms. O'Hara, second by Ms. Poindexter, to postpone to the call of the chair. Any discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. Any opposed? We have seven ayes and two excused. Two absent.